Okay, I'm making a video about a simple tax equity case. And during this video, I'm going to discuss some of the complexities. And in this video, the way we're going to make it, and this would be typical perhaps for one of these horrible, torturous tests you have to take. They don't put, ah, oh, don't worry about the inside, outside basis, uh, whatever the... Uh, um, <laughs> suspended loss uh, 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 DRO account don't worry about all of this stuff just kind of make a basic model and they asked for you know in this case an annual model but I'll discuss how you might want to do this if it was a a uh, a a uh, uh, maybe a, a quarterly model with an annual uh, uh, stuff. So he, here, here's what they're given. Now, can I just say something else? I got fired by a company. And I'm, well, it's good to get fired, I guess, by a company called Red Cliff. You know, I worked my butt off for them, and then they, oh, shit, asshole. And, and so uh, you can take a... Uh, of course, from Red Cliff, but I just tell you, they're, 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 they didn't allow any videos. They didn't allow me to, to record the sessions. They didn't stay on the Zoom calls. And then they bitched about one kind of person who said, oh, it was too advanced. I wanted you to go through a class from start to finish. So I'm making a start to finish. So if the, uh, 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 we, we can... Uh, Okay, uh, do that. Now, I'm also going to, uh, oh, oops, 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 oops. Uh, I'm also going to, uh, uh, maybe I'll use generic macros in this one too, okay? So here's the general issues. We've got 100 megawatts. We've got a yield. If you get some yield, the first thing I do is divide by 8760 to say, ah, whoops, uh, what, what happened here? Okay, and... This one divided by 8760. What happened just now? A 19% capacity fact. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not quite. Yeah, it's pretty good. They're going to go all the way for an asset life of 35 years, 0.5% degradation. And they gave you a commercial operation date. They clearly want kind of a one year, a one year a, 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 a model a year by year. A PPA rate of 35 US dollars, no a, a term of 20, no escalator, a merchant rate of 45. We're assuming, I guess, it simplistically there was no inflation in between this and this. So after 20 years, we get to the 45. So we have to make a flag for the merchant period and the PPA period, and we can leave in a space for an escalator, but we don't have to. Some nice, simple O&M costs, and this one, it's kind of interesting. 10.5 is the KW per year. If good, finally, if we get rates reasonable, and this time, for some reason, we're going to escalate that, which means we're going to have a cash flow pattern that reduces and we're not going to have any seasonality in here because it's an annual model and uh, uh, then we have some capex one uh, us dollar per kw not that bad for us they tend to spend more okay good oh. And no uh, fair value write-up or anything like that. And then uh, tax equity flip and a, 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 a flip for the IRR and a flip for the year. So we've got a yield-based flip and a time-based flip. And I'm going to assume that the flip occurs the, 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 the later of the two, frankly. <laughs> that one i don't know how they exactly define that so if we haven't earned a seven percent we keep going until we earn a seven percent and all that and then the income allocation remember this is you, you you compute your income after depreciation before any 
any any financing and 99 percent goes to the tax investor and depending on their investment the flip could be uh, occur earlier or, or later seven years would mean that without any bonus depreciation and with a five-year uh, modified uh, accelerated recovery system, five-year MACRS, that you would have two years of kind of taxable income, which is kind of funny. And uh, then we have some cash flow and uh, the tax equity before the flip gets 20% of the cash flow and 5% after, which makes the gearing and the leverage really interesting because the the uh, 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 if we have to wait longer, if we have to wait longer, let's say we have to wait 10 years to get our 7% flip, the... the uh, 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 the, uh, <laughs> the 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 blah 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 the <laughs> I can't get a stupid word out today. But the the cash flow received by the debt holders would be lower. Now I suppose we could no. Let's see how we could do this. Uh, we we could try to fiddle things around so they're seven percent and seven. They don't have a contribution ratio here. They have a debt amortization period of eighteen years, four percent, which is low these days, but that's okay. One point three times coverage. They don't have P ninety, P fifties, and all that stuff. And they have a thirty percent ITC rate, which it could be higher these days because of the IRA and a twenty percent and the tax line. Now to do this, I would suggest first, let's get a, a let's get a couple of uh, uh, pages, right? And let's do the operations in one page. And let's make a second page. And in the second page, the, 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 the how about, uh, oh God, let's call this, uh, SPV or LLC, I'll call it SPV, operating, uh, um, operating cash flow. And that for me is the, the big one to really start with. And that will give us an overall pre-tax unlevered uh, 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 rate of return. That's where we can... Uh, 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 start with this stuff, okay? That's really almost the first thing to do. Uh, by the way, I didn't get this word out appropriately. We really need to add one more assumption in here because it we, nowhere does it say how much the tax equity is 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 putting in. Maybe I'm reading it bad, but I'm going to put a contribution uh, ratio in here. Okay, and, and I'm going to put this as a times, and I'm going to say yeah, 1.2 times. Maybe there's some obvious thing I'm missing or something like this, or maybe we want it to, 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 to vary. And by the way, I'm going to put in a couple of uh, uh, levers. How's, how, how's that? So uh, we might put 12, and we might want to uh, 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 make a, a developer tab. And, you know, when you do this kind of stuff, don't forget to... Uh, uh, make it go to another sheet. Okay, so as you can see, maybe this is why Red Cliff uh, uh, got rid of me. Okay, maybe it's it could be no. Let's put 100, and let's assume because they we they, we're, they're going to get all the tax depreciation. So let's put it from 100 to 12 would be uh, no no I I said 10. Let's put it from 10 to to 20, which would be really high. Okay, two times it will never be that what, but then we can click on this and do it, you know, in two stages. So you do it with one, one sheet to the other sheet. You take this one divided by 10 and we push it up and I better have the formulas set to automatic. Okay. 
And what did I just do here? Again, is there something wrong with my keyboard? Okay. Uh, shift uh, for, for now. Yeah. Okay. So, so let's put it up or down. Okay. I don't understand why why that wasn't in there. I, I have not hardly seen one of these tests, which completely made sense. But this is this is kind of a, a reasonable one. So I named this SPC instead of SPV. I'm allowed to do that because it's free and and um, uh, uh, old. Okay. After that, we'll put. Uh, 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 we'll put uh, SPV, uh, we'll put taxes. How about we'll put, I'll call it hypothetical uh, 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 taxes. No, we'll just call it taxes. And in that, in this one, we're going to compute things like the, 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 uh, 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 tax depreciation, we're going to compute the ITC, and we're going to compute this horrible little thing called the basis difference where you can only deduct 50% of the, I mean, the, yes, the depreciation is based on a, a tax basis that's reduced by 50% of the uh, investment tax credit. If you're not from the U.S., um, and, and you're not interested in this, I don't know why in the hell you'd watch this, but uh, just don't take it right. Uh, okay, I'll get off of that. Now let's make a new sheet. After that, let's make our allocation sheet. And that's where we allocate to the tax investor and the, 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 the sponsor, and we just put our ratios in. And don't worry if you think I'm making too many sheets. I'm really sorry. This will be just as easy. It won't take lo longer to put a, a line in another sheet. Okay, and then we'll get the tax investor income, the tax investor IRR. It, and some people say I'm not allowed to compute the tax investor IRR. Fine, because it's too high or whatever. But they had a, a yield of 7%. It wasn't that high. Okay, and then finally, we after we get the the sponsor who's the not the person getting the tax benefits and i'm sorry if i'm if you're not familiar with any of these terms and i'm throwing them out a little bit maybe that's why redcliffe got some then you 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 the final thing is we put our our back leverage and the reason they call it back leverage is because this is going to be not the tax investor doesn't want anything to do with it you're going to split you're going to have this SPV, which is owned by two people, a tax investor and an equity, a sponsor. That's kind of the typical names. And then after that, the taxes are split between the two parties or the income rather than the cash flow is split between the two parties. That's where it's allocated. And then you put gearing on one of the two parties, not the other one. And then when we get into the outputs, here's we're going to get the tax investor, how much they get, and the sponsor, who's the kind of the main developer of the project and owns the project and runs the project and all that, they're going to have a pre-tax and un, a, a, a after tax, and we'll have that in this page, as well as the a, a tax investor. And then we'll, we'll put the levered uh, IRRs in this page. Okay, and I, I before I stop making kind of tad my little lull because I'm writing my book uh, in, in this, I, I uh, kind of got halfway through one of these exercises and didn't finish it. So here are our inputs. Now, uh, let, let's uh, uh, do a little fancy stuff. Let's uh, not put uh, that. Uh, this I press uh, Control Alt C. I had my generic macros open, ah! <laughs> and I don't know if I really want a, 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 a kind of a main section, okay? And this is just running it. And I was just at a, a, a at some really nice people, and and a couple of the things kind of worked a little differently. 
and there we have it. We're going to have to make MACRS, Modified Accelerated Recovery System. And when you make one, you can put zero here. And let's go up to Alt-EIS, and let's go up to uh, 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 six, OK? Uh, uh, whoops. Alt-E, uh, uh, did I? Alt-EIS. OK, and we 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 put our depreciation rate. Let, let's uh, uh, put our uh, our uh, 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 years. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, uh, that's five. Now, they said something a little tricky here. They said that this thing begins this 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 uh, 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 begins at the very end of the year now i'm not going to it's kind of long in a way it really we're going to begin at the first of the next year and get a full year depreciation i'm not going to give a, a a year a half year of depreciation in this period and so people could maybe you could uh, argue with me with, with this. And what I would do is then go over to the number one and put VDB. And we put one for the cost, zero for the salvage, uh, five for the life with F4. And then you go back to the start period, go up to the next period, and then you can put two for a factor because it's it uh, that you use a, a double declining balance and then you can get this and you get a num here so you just put a little if error okay and then we we uh, and I'll put comma zero and we have a full year depreciation okay so you could use half year but but we'll we'll use that for uh, 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 our depreciation rate so now let's get started. Now let's make a, a simple timeline. Now I'm going to click on these sheets all together, and I'm going to do something what my good friends who I really love in Malaysia, they said, I took a class, and the only thing I learned was to make these little things A, B, C like that. OK, good. Not really. <laughs> they were nicer than that. OK, and then we, we, we might skip a couple lines because we want some sum columns and everything else. And then we'll we'll call our ver the the end of our first period, and it, we're always going to kind of go back to the inputs here. We'll call this the the uh, uh, this is the and this is going to be much wider. So this is going to be our, our time line. And let's put the start of the period. And the end of the period. And we're going to uh, uh, basically make an assumption, which is pretty clear, it wasn't really laid out, that this is, uh, uh, th this is uh, uh, 1, 1, 2020. OK, so this is a little bit of an old one. And then in the next year, and then th we, we want to go here. This will make this our. our, our Let's make a little period. Now, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to press F4 here because I'm going to copy this timeline into other sheets. We'll use exactly the same timeline. And this is, but this is absolutely crucial. In the real world, in, in, in the real world, this would be monthly, probably. And then the, all of the tax accounts, the taxes would be quarterly. The back leverage might be semi-annually. So, so, so getting really good at messing around and changing the timings on these sheets is absolutely essential. And starting with the finest detail is, is really key. So we can go here and just press plus one if you want. And here you can put EO, e, e, how about EO month? 
and then go up and put 11, I think. Is that the, and then you get this problem. Now, if you get this problem, I, there, shift control H is not used. So what I would do is, is, is because we're, we're going to use it a lot, I, I'd record a macro and, and press maybe a capital H here. And then I'm going to embarrass myself right now. Oops, I'm going to have to go down. I didn't want to do that. That was a violation. You, you should step on that line. If you go into home and go to some dates here, where, where are some short date? How's that? And then uh, uh, stop recording the macro. Now, when you stop recording this the, this macro, go into this 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 macro. And if you've got the generic macros open, just click on this workbook and, and then press edit and you see that I went down. Okay, and you don't want to do that. You want to take this out of it. So now we have shift control H and a little macro that works with that. And then let's go up here and put this a zero. And this, let's kind of cheat. They only had 35 years, so what? Alt -E I S uh, 35, okay. And then you take these two, shift control R. And if you don't like this format, please don't do it one by one. Shift uh, like this and just make them all a little wider by, 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 oh no, oh, I gotta get them even wider. Ah, okay. And then we can, uh, 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 now we're gonna have little, little flags for the time based flip and the, uh, uh, the yield-based flip and the yield-based flip will be a little tricky. It will be uh, 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 a, a little tricky. But the first thing is we've got a, 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 a PPA period. And just grab this. Now, when you grab this, we need this for the, this is, this is going to be a flag variable. And we grab this from, from the inputs, okay? And we've got a PPA period of 20 years. Now, put at least one. You're probably going to have two. I, I, I would want one for a test, one for a sum, stuff. Let's, let's leave one for, for now. And let's make this one just uh, uh, less than or equal to, to, to this. And you talk through it. So we've got a 20 year PPA. And then if you go use my little generic macros and press shift alt F, it'll uh, change it to a one and we have one. And then you can put merchant period. And if you want, maybe we'll get a little fancier. And, and this is another flag, press control D. And let's start with uh, uh, this plus one. Now, some people would object to this. Screw them, <laughs> really screw them. And, and we'll go up to the end of this. And the end of it was the lifetime of the project, 40, 35 years. And then we can put, and this thing has to be greater than or equal to the, the 21. And don't forget the F4. And this thing, and if you want to press, it has to be less than or equal to the to the lifetime. Okay, and we don't shift Alt F, Shift Control R. You almost don't need a a. Uh, a um, you, you you almost don't need a a, a, a life flag here, but uh, maybe we'll put a life flag. Operate, I'll call this operations flag. Okay, and, and let's control D. We don't need this, and we can put or this or that. Okay, that's, and shift control, shift alternate F. I just made that. I'm so proud of that little crap. Okay, <laughs> not really, but whatever. You know, this red cliff destroyed me, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to... Now in this one, you you always want to start with some. Uh, uh, let's start with some operations, and let's put the the capacity first. And they gave us the KWP, I think. Was it KWP? No, it was MWP. And everything's in MWs 
except for the O and M. Here's what I suggest you do. I, I let, let's put M W P and then let's redo this also in K W P. And the reason to do it both ways is uh, uh, where, where's our uh, M W P is because some just to make things confusing they put some in megawatts and some in kilowatts. So we can just put this and multiply that by a thousand. I think that's allowed. Although, you know, if you really got fancy, they'd say, oh no, maybe they'll give you a bad grade on the test because you put a thousand. Oh shit, I'm not gonna do that right now though. No, no way, yeah, screw it. And, and then we can press F4, multiply this by our life flag, okay? All right, and then they, we can do the same thing because, again, some things are stated in kilowatts and some in megawatts, and you want to be sure. And then we can put our yield. And this, of course, is where you'd put the P50, the P90. This is where things would, would, would really get interesting, and that was in KWH divided by KWP. Let's just make sure that that was... Some people like Hetty would, would, would move it around, you know, put these units straight from the other place. That's fine, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to take that. And that's, again, you'd probably put seasonality, shift control W if you want a little comma. I'd put this here, okay? And then we, and then maybe we can put generation before degradation. Okay, and uh, uh, that's just in our KWH. Now, again, uh, uh, let's put it in MWH. Because the reason to put it in MWH is because they expressed the, 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 uh, 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 the, the, the the dollars per megawatt hour they use dollars per megawatt hour not dollars per kilowatt hour so after that uh, uh, put in the the uh, uh, after you uh, 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 put that in put I'm just see I'm I'm, I'm struggling I'm stuttering a little because uh, let, let's put our degradation and let's this time I don't usually like to do it like this but let's okay and on some people when they put degradation and they some I've seen people divide we got in this big argument should you just subtract it and that's I think most people would do or should you divide it by one plus the degradation so if you're worried about that maybe you can look it up from somebody other than me okay and and on and, and this one I'm going to start with this. Now, Now I did something really idiotic. This thing had to be, the PPA period had to also be, uh, 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 this This has to be, and, and we, we have to put this thing has to be great, greater than uh, 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 zero. Uh, excuse me for that. And, and that's why it might be really good to have a units and then a constant where we're getting this stuff and another constant, control R, and then maybe a sum column. Okay, and, uh, and maybe, uh, uh, what was I going to say? You know, maybe a, a, another column but that's not what I was going to say I just lost my train of thought like I've been doing because I'm degrading so badly shit uh, uh, now well maybe this shift control V for Victor with the generic macros open and then we don't really need this maybe you could get this but then we're going to get a bigger column okay okay and but don't don't we don't want to do a sum on things like capacity or anything else on the degradation we're going to start one so somebody might say oh you're cheating this because that's the input is not allowed multiply this by one minus this annual degradation 
press the F4, and, and, and we need an index value, shift control Q, shift control R, and then we got it, and then we can put generation after degradation. And that's what you really want. Okay, and let's put that in 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 megawatt hours. Okay, and and this time you can multi. I guess we can we'll, we'll keep the columns the same. Otherwise, auditors will give you incredible shit. Okay, and then we if you want shift control V for vector. Shift control V. Yes, there it is. Okay, and then that's it. And then we put our, let's put, we basically need revenues, expenses, and CapEx, and I'll call them operating uh, cash flow, okay? And, and what I would probably start with is the CapEx. And, and that's in, we, we, let's put it in, how about let's do it this way, USD per KWP, is that what they did? And they went down and they had per watt. They had one dollar per watt. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take this and multiply this by a thousand. Okay. And that's so, so we get it in, in, in dollars per KWP. And let's just multi, let's do this. Let's, let's, say the capex let's put the capex in usd and uh, 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 you know we could put let's do something different i always try to do something different units uh, 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 model units I don't know if this is going to work. I have no idea. Um, if I, in, 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 in 40 years, some ridiculous amount of modeling years. And then let's put a driver units. It just so we don't get confused. And we can say, well, the driver, that's USD per KW. And this is a percent per per annum okay and this is whatever it is this is the same okay all right and whatever okay all right i don't know if that works or not who knows and so the usd we're gonna say uh, uh, when this equals zero so you know if you use an if statement you can say if this thing is true which true is one if that's true one then let's make it zero otherwise let's make it this one f4 times the the uh, i have to put it times the the uh, uh, kilowatts of capacity and let's do oh ooh, you know ooh, i'm not allowed to do this in usd i have to put dollars here sorry about that oh, i hate that Okay, dollars. Okay, and now we can copy it and keep it all consistent. And I've never done it like that either, but so what? Okay, and then let's put our PPA uh, 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 rate, no inflation, no escalation, and let's put that in, in, in dollars per megawatt hour. Okay. Put it over here, and let's put the, the dollars per megawatt hour to be uh, uh, 35, and then we can just on this case, in this case, you can just lock that in, okay? And then let's put our our, our, our uh, PPA escalation, and even though we don't have it, we'll we'll, we'll put it in there. Uh, this is going to be a, a, a it's going to be like this. It's going to be the same thing, and this time it's zero. Okay, but just in case, just to show you, just to kind of show off, <coughs> uh, um, 
uh, uh, we can we can put that in, and then we can put our one in to start with, which is a little cheating, and multiply that by one plus the plus the the escalation rate. Okay, and you probably normally should be a little more careful with this. Shift Control Q, Shift Control R. Okay, and then we can put PPA rate applied. Uh, applied now in the next one. Uh, uh, you could uh, um, uh, uh, you could copy this for the merchant ones, okay? And then when you copy it for the merchant ones, uh, uh, you copy PPA. But let's I'm going to be yeah no let's do this okay fine uh, uh, Alt F right uh, uh, oops no. Control F, okay, and let's change the. Oh shit! See, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, 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 PPA to merchant. Was that best to do? I have no idea. Okay, okay, and then let's put these things together. Okay, and let's put our forty-five. So again, you know, you can do it quickly and. Uh, uh, they again had a zero. Uh, uh, they had a zero escalator down here, and uh, you could almost copy it, but it's almost easier to do it like this. And, and then put this one as F4. Whoops, yes. How about this? F4, okay. Shift Control R. And this is this times one plus the plus the zero, and uh, shift control Q, shift control R times this. Okay, and then uh, uh, after that, we'll put our now we can put our our PPA revenues in. Okay, and that's now let's put it in dollars. Don't try to do, don't try to get fancy and put thousands, millions, and then you're gonna have to redo this all the time. So just take our our 35 and just multiply that by the generation after the degradation, and multiply that by the uh, 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 PPA period. Okay, okay, thanks, man. Uh, okay, and then. Uh, and when he calls, I'm gonna have to interrupt the video, and I'm 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 gonna have to make this video in in, in two parts clearly, okay? Because how, how are we doing? We're already on, on on 37 minutes, and we've just got maybe it'll be th three parts. I don't care anymore, okay? And then uh, 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 th then let's go up here and and lock the things in. And let's then go down and put our merchant revenues in. Okay, I guess we'll put those in dollars and, and we'll take the merchant price times the, which is kind of bizarre, you know? <laughs> okay, the, these models where you, it's better to have a merchant than a than a PPA. Fine, okay. We, we know that that's the result we'll have, and we have these kind of. Uh, I used to play one very very long ago. I played hockey. Okay. Oops, and I didn't multiply it by the the. the uh, who cares? <laughs> Why did I tell you that? Who gives a crap? Okay, and then we we. Uh, and maybe you want to press, put these in the sum. Shift Control V, Shift Control V. And what happened to the length of my sum column? It has to be a little bigger or a lot bigger. Okay, okay. Oops. Uh, uh, Shift Control W. These, all these little shortcuts. Now I put on the right here at the beginning of the generic macro. So you go and open generic macros from God knows where. And I hope, you know, that's why I can't type fast in Excel because I use the macros to help me, okay? And then let's put the operating costs. 
uh, and uh, let, let's put the, the operating, let's put the first the inflation index. Uh, because this is going to be kind of sil uh, uh, simple. And then we'll put percent PA just like this. And this time we'll, oh, how did it come? That was, that was not meant to be. Okay, that comes from here, and then we put our, our 1, and then we take this one and multiply by 1 plus the, the, the index. Uh, okay, and then we can put our different, you know, a lot of people would just take these, these names from the inputs. I'm going to do something just about as lazy. We'll put O and M. And, and a lot of times when people do this sort of thing, they have the insurance not escalate asset management. You get 150 for what? Oh, managing, a, watching the sun come up and down. Good. <laughs> what a joke. I'm sorry. That really is. That really is. Oh, God. I would love to be an asset manager because I want to watch the sun come up and down and update this simple uh, uh, financial model. And this time we'll we'll put the, the 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 model units are all going to be dollars, okay? But the this is going to be a, a, a dollar per kW year, okay? And it's really kWp, but we have kWs here, and then so so let's get our our, our units in here and, and and put those here, and then. Uh, we should make these all the same. That's really important. These kind of things are so important. Okay, and then we'll we'll uh, 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 we'll we'll uh, multiply those out. Don't forget to multiply. So so we take this one F four a couple of times. Multiply this one, and then when you go multiply it, this time multiply it by the kW, not the mw and press the f4 a couple of times and multiply that one by the operation flag and press the f4 a couple of times and then fi finally uh, uh, multiply it might maybe i'm getting the formula too long but multiply it by the the, the inflation index okay uh, did i press control d control r uh oh what did I do? Uh huh. I didn't lock the the this G in properly. Oh no! And I used to in the old days. I get, oh no! I gotta stop my video. I gotta make a new thing. Okay. <coughs> and here's our operating cost. And let's put our total uh, operating cost. And we can press Control D, and we can get alternate equal. Oops. And then we can press Shift Control R, and then we can press Shift Control. Uh, what was it again? <laughs> uh, e. Okay. And what happened to my merchant revenues? They're a little bit too much. Did is that because I didn't press Shift Control W on it? Yes. Okay. And we can even, uh, uh, oh, no, I'm going to have to redo my little underline. Okay. Shift control E. I forgot it. Th those are all made with the same thing that I did. Uh, 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 with, uh, the same thing I did with the, 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 uh, with the, uh, why, did, why did I not put total revenues here? Oh no. Okay, that's the same thing. When I made that little macro, uh, uh, how about we'll press Alt equal, Shift Control R, Shift Control V, Shift Control E, okay? There we go, and you can waste a lot of time with your little doing it yourself and your paintbrush, and I'll get all pissed off at you, and you maybe give me a really bad rating if I you had a class and all that. Okay, that's that.
And then there's something they didn't ask for, which is remarkable, but I would want to say uh, uh, operating uh, uh, cash flow. And, and there are some kind of rules of thumb that says you've got to get something like some really low number on this. So this is going to be the EBITDA minus the CapEx. And you can see, did I make some really stupid mistake when I did the CapEx? Okay, and then this is shift control V, and that's positive, and that's good. And let's see what kind of uh, unlevered project, un, unlevered pre tax project IRR. Okay, and we don't need XIR or anything stupid like that. And we just go to this one and Oh, that's kind of interesting. It's about a 3% IRR, and that's what you can do if you get the investment tax credit. What I do here, and you don't, I'm going to put, uh, 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 well, if you, they adjusted the investment tax credit, but if, if, if this number was uh, uh, this, just this one, uh, 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 this one minus this one times 0.7, 30% tax credit, then you get 5.8, and then you're really starting to, to, to be in business. So that's, that's, the, that's really the effect of the investment tax credit. And then I'm going to go ahead and, I don't care, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to make the top eight be black. I'm going to color all the rest of this stuff whether it's an input and whether it's a true false and all that and i'm going to color the sum column i'm going to color the sum column i'm going to call it column b i'm going to leave an input i'm going to call how many how many rows at the top did i say we, we, we had eight we have eight rows at the top and we click on our apply top color and we color all this stuff and we just do it and uh, it's telling me what to do, okay, and ah, there's our little stuff at the top, there's our cash flow, and we have a beautiful artistic kind of thing, and I'm even going to take the grid lines away, and we can, we, we can, we got our first step, and then let's do this. Let's take this first step and copy this to all the rest of them. Okay, even though we'll have to have a few more flags in some of these. <sighs> Can I uh, do that? Yes. Uh, Alt E S W for column widths, okay? And uh, uh, Alt E S W. You know, in, in a long time ago, I could teach a class and people would be kind of impressed with this Excel crap, but now they're not anymore, and that's okay. My life is, I don't know what to do. I want to write that. I want to finish that book. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is put our taxes in. And we need to transfer some variables. And the main variable we need to do is, 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 is transfer the, uh, um, uh, is, is transfer the, uh, 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 CapEx. And then, because that's going to give us the ITC and the depreciation. And then, uh, I think, why don't we, we'll get the EBITDA as well. So then, and don't, of course, you know, we're going to uh, uh, do this. Now, you, you put transferred uh, variable. Okay, and, and you start with uh, CapEx. Okay, and then, oh, don't worry about this crap. Uh, uh, why did, that, shit, why does that sometimes do, I'm pissed off now. 
Is that going to do it all the time? Shit. Okay. Why? Oh, if I if if I put something here, does it? Oh. This is some Excel thing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave it for now because we're going to recolor it and fine. And then let's put EBITDA. And that, it did the same thing. I'm going to have to recolor this shit. You know what I'm going to do is, 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 uh, uh, finding this. Tay, don't, why are you taking so long? I'm just going to hit this little reset thing. Okay. And, and then, uh, 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 we we we've got it okay and see I, what happened here see I I really screwed up I really got nervous oh no you're not gonna like my video okay uh, and then let's just bring that in and let's bring it in from the right place now if you had a monthly model and a semi-annual model you'd have to use a sum if right there and and it would maybe be kind of a pain. Well, it would be a pain. That's the real painful part of making these models. But these people didn't seem to care. So what the heck? Okay, so that's our, those are our transferred variables. Now let's compute first the, how, how, I think it probably is best if, when you think through it to compute the IDC because the ITC will drive that the, the tax depreciation because you have this fixed 50% basis difference. In fact, we need to be a little bit fancier and put uh, 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 something like reduced uh, basis from ITC, okay? Uh, uh, and... Uh, Okay, and, and uh, so let's, where are we? We'll do this, and then I'm going to huh, stop the video. can take a break, go get a beer, whatever you want to do. ITC, investment tax credit. Uh, credit. And let's put uh, eligible, el eligible, uh, uh, expenditures and 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 up, up, okay and this is going to be a do dollar here and then we'll put the driver on this one whoops I'm, I'm gonna uh, uh, this is a, a percent and we'll get our percent eligible that they so what happens if in the old days if you had transmission and I think they might have changed a little bit of this in, in the new tax law. So we, we, we say that F4, 90% of that is, is eligible. Okay. And then, whoops. Yes, very good. Okay. And then we put our ITC rate and, or ITC amount. And I think I kind of like this, I think. I kind of like this putting the two units right here. I'm not sure if I do or not, but there, there's our, where's our ITC rate? It better be, you know, what, where, where did they put the ITC rate? It's down here by the taxes somewhere. ITC, why it's down there, I'm not quite sure. I, I, I would put the, 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 inputs in the same order you know that we first get the taxes then we figure out all this allocation stuff and and the uh, uh, itc rate really should be next to the eligibility okay and and, and then you can multiply Let, let's let's show them let's be jerks and say well, you assholes why couldn't you put this stuff up here Okay, and uh, then really this, I suppose that the, this this ratio here is 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 related to the ITC and okay, and I suppose the ITC eligibility might be in the tax section, but we'll leave it there. Okay, we don't, we don't want to get too big uh, trouble. Okay, and then we. Uh, um, 
So we, we have the investment tax credit and the uh, uh, amount that's uh, eligible. And then let's put the, the, uh, 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 the tax basis for depreciation. Okay, and let's put the ITC eligible and um, uh, let's put perhaps a dollar here and uh, uh, and then let's put reduced for basis and put a dollar here too and then we can say we, we, we take the the tax depreciation so that's the the blah 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 Where, where's the this one okay so we can take the we, we start with the itc eligible basis okay and this one uh, you know what i would do here i'm sorry if if you don't like this mr kenny my buddy who is a really good guy who came up with fast and all that stuff and 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 i would just lock that okay and then we can say okay well we're gonna take uh, 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 this one minus this one times the the 50 percent and i have to uh, uh, lock that in too so maybe the the best thing to do would be to do this up here and then we can say okay let's that's F4, this one times this one, F4. But uh, yes, let's leave that as a separate thing. And then uh, tax basis uh, uh, eligible. OK, and and it's just this. Now, of course, all of this stuff when I first saw it took, oh, Jesus, it was painful. This is painful crap. It's not impressive to know XYZ piece of the tax code. What a miserable kind of life you would have if you sit here talking about some provision of the tax code and think you're really cool because you're doing it. And then we put non-ITC uh, 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 eligible. Okay, and that's a, a, a dollar, and then we, that's just going to be, let's cheat again. Well, you know, I'm going to go up here, so I'm losing my site at Alt-WFF. Yep, not three Fs. Okay, and, and then for our null IT, well, we better put it in this column. That's just going to be our... Hundred thousand we're paying minus the the amount we didn't pay. Okay, and you could, I sp it would be slightly more elegant, wouldn't it be, to press Shift Control V on this one. We'll do this one. Shift Control V. Shift Control V. Uh, Shift Control V. So it would be better to take this from the sum column. Oh, we don't want to get in trouble by these dweebs telling you, oh, no, no, you can't do that, that's really important. So we can take this sum column minus uh, uh, this one, sorry. Okay, and that's our other uh, uh, thing. Okay, and then let's put our, uh, 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 let's put our depreciation. Okay, and the first thing we'll put is our maker, M-A-C-R-S. I know you call it makers. <laughs> Don't think I'm so, so stupid idiot because I call it modified account uh, 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 accelerated cost recovery system because I remember when it was made in 1982, it was just acres. It was just A-C-R-S. And then we use a lookup function and we go up to the, the life and we get our depreciation rate and I hope that I put 
and you click on the whole column here and the whole column there. And if they give you crap about that, you tell them, I don't want the job. If you don't understand that it's totally fine to do this, except I didn't put a operating life here and I did it wrong. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, years. Uh, percent. Okay, and we put equal this plus this. Okay, and then we, we get our operating life. And when you did the, the, the now the, the, the thing, we do it here. Okay. And we can make sure that that adds up to one, and then you put your straight line. Okay, and you put that as a percent, and let's put our 15 years, which maybe wasn't, was that an input? Where was that 15 years? Oh no, was that an input? No, it was just... Okay, so we better put the 15 here. How's that? Okay. Okay, and then uh, we take uh, this one. How about let's just take put an equal sign one, one divided by 15. Oh. I think we're allowed to do it this way if you're not tough. Equal this one divided by uh, 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 equal. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm doing something really bad right now. This is less than or equal to this. And then you press Shift Control Dub, uh, Shift Alternate F. And you multiply it by the depreciation rate. And then to make it a little more complicated, you have to put an and. This has to be the operating period. So this is too long a formula. And the danger is you're going to be proud of a stupid formula like this, which I even uh, got wrong. And uh, but I was lazy, okay, because I'm getting sick of this. And I, did I did I multiply this by the did I do that? And and did I is the 15 F forward uh, uh, shift control P shift control R shift control V, okay? And then we we get our uh, 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 MACRS depreciation. And our straight MACR <sighs> CRS depreciation and our straight line. If you want to hear me moan about how bad these things are in concepts and why we can't use economic depreciation, please. That's what I'm trying to do, and I'm 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 getting back into this horrible habit of wasting too much time on the uh, 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 the modeling stuff. Okay, and uh, uh, this one. Okay, and we better. How about Shift Control W? Shift Control V. Shift Control V. Alt equal uh, shift control v and we have total and i spelled depreciation wrong okay and, and we put this down here and then we put a okay and then we can put our, our hypothetical uh, taxes. And, and then uh, 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 let's first assume that we don't have a net operating loss. So, so we put 
uh, 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 cash flow with deductibility or something. Something like that. How's that? And we can start with our uh, uh, EBITDA. Okay, and then the, and then we can say, well, let's after we have the EBITDA. Uh, excuse me. Let's take out the depreciation. Okay, and, and put a, a dollar sign, a dollar sign, get this. Am I slouching a lot? Yeah, and then, and then let's call that our EBT. Okay, and, and, uh, okay, and then take that. So, so here's the big deal. It goes to your five. Oh, and then this idiocy of, of having the, the flip rate go to these two years is is kind of weird for me. Okay, well whatever. And and then let's uh, uh, put the the <sighs> let's put the tax rate. How's that? Um, let's uh, and you know here my point on this one is is to understand the economics. Is this thing really supposed to be working or not? Before we start doing all this split, we got to make sure we have a, a, a reasonable project that's earning more than 3% probably. So let's take that times this. Okay, and then we put a, 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 a plus... Uh, ITC and this one I should have put this as a dollar and this is a percent like that and this is a, a, a dollar and we got our ITC from up here and that's again it's not a deduction or anything it's just pure pure amount and then we get our uh, uh, after Uh, tax operating cash flow okay and we can uh, 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 get this one now th this uh, uh, where, where am I uh, th this is the EBITDA minus the taxes which are minus plus the ITC and if you are complaining that I did this and then let's put less the uh, uh, capital expenditures okay if I spelled it wrong I'm sorry you can do your spell check and we transfer that thing up here okay and then we can get our uh, net cash flow Okay, and ah, shoot. okay, and if you you don't like what I'm doing, complain to Redcliffe for me, please. This guy, Redcliffe was right. This guy's shit. Uh, 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 so so this is hypothetical after. Tax IR. I love this ratio that nobody probably would really compute. Okay, and and then nothing very controversial so far, but we get huh, we get an IRR of five percent. This is really worrying to me. Is that the the uh, no I, I gotta be careful the no it really sucks it really stinks and it's criminal and it's everything else we're gonna give the tax investor 
an IRR based on after tax cash flow when we do our yield based flip. And we're going to, we're going to now, now, the, the, the one thing I didn't really know is if you have a yield based flip and the other one, do we take a maximum or minimum? Maybe since I don't know it, we'll do both. But if the tax investor gets a 7% yield, they're getting more than the overall investor. They're getting 7% on a, 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 a investment that has incredibly little risk. There's some tax risk, really, because he, he, they're always going to get this. They just might have to wait a little bit longer and all that. So right now, let's finish this part of the, the video. Okay, and we've got eight again. So basically what we can do is, is, is just do exactly the same thing. We don't have to change anything. This is my little AI here. Bullshit AI. Uh, it finds the I column because it searches for some sum columns. Okay. And then I think I got everything. And I just press that uh, button. It was control alt uh, C again. And if you're trying this... Uh, 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 by yourself, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, somebody actually told me, it was such a big compliment, they said, well, you could almost charge for that thing. Oh, fuck, I don't know how to do that. Okay, so now that's it. I'm going to save this file. Okay. Uh, uh, we'll call it tax equity. exercise and that's going to be our uh, uh, oops the reason it's a, a, a macro enable file is that but I'm going to yes I'm going to save it for right now as a as a macro enable file but then when I save it at the very very end because actually we didn't need it what did I make I, I made the macro for the dates right we, we almost didn't need it but okay I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to stop the video.